Our defense, like, they, they, they got a different kind of energy this year. Our defense, they bring the juice every day. Like not even, not even just on the field. They bring it in the, in the, weight, in the weight room, in our runs. You know, they, they bring all the energy. So I mean, our, our offense is young, but I mean, our defense always starts off hot. But I mean, our offense at the end of the day, they, they know who, who the top dog is on the team. And who's one? Is Logue one of the loudest talkers on defense? He is the loudest talker probably in the whole conference. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> He, he's such a great guy, but when he flips his switch, oh, you hear him, you hear him. You can hear him from miles away. We know who is talking. And as far as like, obviously it was a beautiful place, great food, um, outside of like, if somebody comes there and says, oh, like in and out, like what's the best food you would recommend anywhere on the island? <laughs> I mean, ooh, there's so many good spots for me. That's why I play all night, I'm just eating too much food over there back home. Um, we always try to just take them to little holes in the wall kind of things, um, little spots that are kind of under the radar. So I mean, one of my favorite spots is a fresh catch, it's a little, you know, poke spot, you know, uh, fresh fish, um, plate lunches. So we try to show them little aspects of the island flavors we got over there, the different island foods. So I mean, try to, that's how we get people to gain weight back home. Name a couple more. I'm trying to go too. <laughs> Man, there's a lot. You know, bias. We got St. Louis driving, L and L. Um, one plus one, that's amazing, amazing. A fresh cat, that's a good one. Cool pancake house, another great one. Oh, that's, that's endless. endless. When you think about all the all the players from Hawaii that leave and go somewhere else, like if they all stayed, what do you feel like the program would look like and just the culture would look like? Woo! I mean, you know, growing up, growing up in Hawaii, that's all we talk about. You know, I think. We, there's so much talent that's really like slept on out in the island. If everyone stayed home, it would be it would be like a fairy tale story. Honestly, it would be so crazy to see like the talent that we would have um, just with just the island boys alone. But then when you mix that in with the talent we get from the mainland, oh, it'd be it'd be it'd be awesome. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you talk about the culture that's being built right now? You know, when when uh, and you know, Coach Chang remembers when you guys were competing. Well, talk about the culture that's being built right now. Um, so right now, our big thing, we always preach on our brotherhood. Yeah. Um, add a little island flavor to brotherhood, so we call it brotherhood. And right now, it's just really encompassing all the different ethnicities, all the different cultural backgrounds that come onto come to a small little island. Yeah. Like we have guys from Australia, Japan, Samoa, Tonga, uh, you know, the States. Yeah, so many different, so many different places. Guys with all different backgrounds. So really, we just, we really want to have everyone share where they come from and really embrace one another, get to know each other. Because when we really embrace each other's cultures, then magic really happens. And just kind of establishing, letting everybody know that when you come to the University of Hawaii, you're you're more than just a football player. You know, you don't just come here just to play football. You become, you become you know, a leader in the community. You know, you work with different companies throughout the throughout the state. You work with the, the children. You know, that's one of my favorite parts. Um, and really just understand that, you know, it means just a little bit more. Like, you know, it means a little bit more to the people of Hawaii and understanding that, you know, there is no professional team in Hawaii. So all the athletes of, of the University of Hawaii, uh, you're, you're it. Like, you're, you're, you're what everyone looks to. You're the role models. You know, you're, 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 you have a responsibility to show the next generation of kids uh, you know how to do how to do things the right way. From for someone who's not from Hawaii, how would you describe brotherhood and sisters, and sisterhood as well? Because that's really important. And sometimes you can't you don't know what it is until you see it firsthand. I mean, brotherhood and sisterhood is really just you know embracing each other's differences and, and cultural backgrounds and coming together. And really, it's just a undeniable love that you have for one another just the willingness to do do anything for your brother or for your sister next to you and just uh just knowing that like we're all in this together it's a you know uh we say kako thing it's a family thing um and just knowing that like you know we're on we're all i mean we take a lot of pride of like you know we're on a little island by ourselves and understanding that we all we got and we all we need and we all we want you guys have a very unique place in the history of the program. One day they'll have a brand new stadium. The old timers remember the old Aloha. You guys are in a very unique place. Talk about that. I mean, how do you feel playing for the short amount of time there? Oh, I mean, shoot, you know, Aloha Stadium. I mean, 
I'm pretty biased, but I played that in that stadium since I was a little kid. So I have a lot of memories in there. And right now we're in the transition of, you know, renovating a lot of different things. So obviously, you know what I mean? You know, it's a little different playing in a little smaller stadium here and there, but I just take it as, you know, we're the, we're the first stepping stones into something great. So I'm just happy to be a part of that history of knowing, you know, we were, we were the, we were, I was part of the team where we took the initiative to, you know, to give a little, give a little more to the university. From, from, from last year? Okay, I would say, uh, first of all, tackling. You know, tackling, it has to be, you know, you wouldn't lose game off of this tackle. So, you know, the tackling needs to be a lot better. And I mean, and we're working that. We know that was a, a weakness, especially early on in the season, right? So, and we can't have that again because that's that loss is game. Just, it could be three missed tackles that will lose you a game, you know? And uh, so, focusing on that, focusing on uh, the little things, focusing on, we understand the scheme now and there's, how can we cheat it? How can we, how can we understand what the offense is giving us now, now that we, we understand the defense and don't have to think, you know? Mm -hmm. And so that's something that we're implementing now of a certain certain formations, right? We, like, I'm not thinking of, I know what I, exactly where I'm supposed to be, but what is the offense giving me? What can I do better to, to cheat the play, to be able to read stuff, you know? So that's, that's the things that we need to work on, and that's the things that we are working on. Thank you so much. Man, appreciate you. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, great to meet you, Jeff. Hey, Logan, can you talk about the culture you guys are beginning to build, you know, when a new coaching staff comes into place, and obviously Coach Chang and his history. Talk about the culture that you guys are beginning to build. Yeah, yeah. So the, the culture at Hawaii, it is a, man, it's, it's a, it's a, not a rare culture, but it's something you won't find nowhere else, you know. It's people from all walks of life, people from all over the world are coming together and, and becoming a, a family, right? You are, we're all stuck, stuck on a, a rock, right? Mm -hmm. you know, there's nowhere to go. And um, the the chemistry and the, the unity and the brotherhood that we build through that, knowing that, hey, we all we got. And, um, you know, this, we, we got the state on our back, you know. We are the pro team out there, right? Yeah. And so, you know, the culture is, hey, we, we, the good is not good enough, right? What we did last year is not good enough. Doing the bare minimum is not good enough. The the extra work is is that's what is required. That's the you know the standard was this. Mm. And now we made this the standard, and we're gonna keep on moving at that bar, right? And um, you know, just even speaking on the culture, I know the culture is set because when the new guys come in, they they abide by it and they understand what we do. And they're, they're not gonna no one's gonna come in and change what we do, right? And um, and like and we, and we haven't had that in the past. And so when we see it now, it's nice. It's, Good, it, it's good to know that it's here, it's established, and it's working, right? And uh, man, we're just, we're, it's, it's both, man, just grateful for it. Man. It's, it's like nothing else. It's hard to put into words, but for someone who hasn't been there, doesn't know, brotherhood, sisterhood, what does that mean to you? So the brotherhood and the sisterhood is um, is, is basically like every, everybody, right? It's all, whoever, everybody that in, in, the, uh, in Hawaii, right? Everyone who supports us, everyone who doesn't, you know, we're all part of a brotherhood, all part of a sisterhood. And, um, you know, it's all about that, that unity. It's all about having a low heart spirit, having, showing love, being kind. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's something about being that, that humble, kind person that is, you know, knowing I can rely on, hey, hey, I need this or that. Can you help me out? Of course, absolutely, you know. It's something about that um, that you can thrive in, you know. It's something about that that you can find joy and find peace in, and um, you know that's what we've established. That's the culture that's there now, and um, man, we're, we're loving it. You guys are in a unique position, being the bridge from the old Aloha Stadium to the new Aloha Stadium. Um, you guys like always have that bond, kind of. What is that like playing in a stadium like that? And do you feel more of a connection, I guess, to the you know the crowd that's there? Yeah. yeah. Um, Man, for me, I absolutely love playing that team. You know, it's you know, I'm a big guy that needs I need to stretch, I need to <laughs> do all these things and like I mean we get to have to use our training room that we use every day. It's right, you know, it's on campus, it's right here. Yeah. You know, we're gonna walk out of it. You know, we have our locker room, that's our home, right? We get to prepare in there. Um, you know, we get the, the students coming down from uh, the dorms from the school that, you know, may have not had a ride to Aloha. You know, so we're getting all these faces, people and, and people I mean I, I, you know, it's it's a perspective thing, right? You can look at it and say, oh, well, you only had this many stands. You only have um, this or that, right? There's a track right there. Um, but it's a perspective. Like, it's, le it's less seats, but, hey, that thing can get packed out. Yeah. You know, you're not going to know the difference. And it's going to get loud. And, um, 
And like I said, it's, it's a quick drive, people can walk, you know, it's it, it's a blessing, you know, and I'm grateful for it. And um, we love Aloha, but you know, we're we, we gonna live where our feet are at, you know, and be grateful for everything we got. And my last question, you, you touched on it, but what, what Coach Chang means in terms of like, there's nothing like that program when they're on top and when they're rolling, and he was there when that happened. What has he been like to play for? Man, so it's, you know, Hawaii is a place to be when, when Hawaii football's winning, you know, and um, it's, you know, it's it's crazy. But I mean, even I mean, even when we're, we haven't been doing so well, the love from the people, like like I said, we are the pro team, right? Yeah. So the love the love we get is, man, you wear some Hawaii football out there, and you you are getting shown love daily, you know, and um, you know, it's that respect, and it goes both ways, right? We we pride ourselves in being leaders in the community, and um. And giving back, right? Whether it's going to the children's hospital, um, spending time with the less fortunate, whatever it may be, right? Um, we pride ourselves in doing that, regard and not not for NIL, just because that's out of the kindness of our heart, and that's what you know. We that that's just that's just kind of the guys that are inside this program, right? And um, man, it's 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 something, like you said, it's something. It's a, it's a place to be when Hawaii's winning. When Hawaii's on top, it's a place to be. Awesome. Thanks, Logan. Yeah.